The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube boys, welcome back to a new Foes Appeal. Today, we are going to talk about a character from a more controversial franchise in Smash Bros, because I know every time a, a new character from this franchise gets announced, it gets backlash from the Smash community because it's an overrepresented franchise. Which I can agree with, but in Smash 6, I do think half of the, the fighters from this franchise will be caught for the ones I think are right. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at this. Ah, uh, finally. Come on, sunshine, up and at him. Get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? <sighs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. That's right. Shez from Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hoops is who we are going to talk about today. Honestly, I'm not too familiar with Fire Emblem outside of Three Houses, even though I still need to get around to playing it. I, I mainly know much about Three Houses because of Smash Bros. But other than that, Shez is who we are going to talk about today. I know that Fire Emblem is controversial when represented in Smash Brothers, but to my memory, I've never done a Fire Emblem character in a new Foes Appeared before. But, but since I'm now doing Fire Emblem for the first time in a new Foes Appeared, I'm doing the Fire Emblem characters I think are right for the roster, even if half of them are cut out. And starting off with Shez, who wields two swords instead of one, I definitely think Shez is one Fire Emblem character, along with a layer that could make sense for Smash 6. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Combat Magic. And since Shez can be either gender, depending on which one you choose, we're just gonna refer Shez by her female version. So Shez uses her swords durability to cast two types of magic, fireballs and lightning bolts. Fireballs are slower, will deal more damage and knockback, while lightning bolts are faster with less knockback, and the durability bar depletes with each use and refreshes over time. For the side special, we have Flugel Slash, where Shez performs a powerful slash that sends out a shockwave and the shockwave's strength and range increases when the gauge is full. The gauge fills up over time or by landing melee attacks. For the up special, we have Shadow Flash. Shez teleports in any input direction, traveling a significant distance. And this move has a brief cooldown period, using it again within this period results in a shorter teleport and reduced damage. For the down special, we have Awaken. Shez activates her enhanced state, temporarily boosting her attack power, speed, and defense. This state lasts for a short duration and has a cooldown period 
before it can be used again. For the final smash, we have Creation's Wrath. Shez unleashes a devastating series of sword slashes, followed by a massive energy explosion, and this attack covers a wide area and deals substantial damage to all caught in it. For the alts, we have the default costume with male Shez and the default costume with female Shez. The blue themed armor would be male Shez inspired by Dimitri. The red themed armor would be inspired by Edelgard for female Shez. The yellow themed armor would be inspired by Claude for male Shez and the black and gold armor would be inspired by Byleth for female Shez. The white and silver armor would be for male Shez and the purple and gold armor would be for female Shez. The classic mode route would be called the Path of Shadows. Round 1 would be against Marth, Round 2 would be against Lucina and Krom, Round 5 would be against Robin and Corrin, Round 4 would be against Ike and Roy, Round 5 would be against Byleth, Round 6 would be against Bayonetta, and the final round would be against Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And finally, for the stage, we have the Fodland Battlefield, a location in Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, located in a war-torn battlefield. Armies are fighting in the background, and many Fire Emblem characters can be spotted making brief cameos to smaller floating platforms are positioned above the main platform within the stage, and hazards like magic bombardments and cavalry charges occasionally occur, altering the stage layout and adding dynamic elements to the battle. So guys, what did you think of Shez from Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes? I'm probably going to do more Fire Emblem in the future, but unfortunately, I'm only going to minimize it to like two or three or four. Only four Fire Emblem characters I'm doing in total in a new Foes appeared. I'm not going to overdo it like, like Smash Bros, but I'm doing the characters I think are right. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And I will see you all in a future episode of A New Foes Appeared. BB-8, out. <laughs>